Welcome to Knockbro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and today we're here to react to the final trailer for The Ones Who Live, guys. <laughs> yes. It's here. It's, it's here. It's here. Uh, guys, this is this is going to be awesome. The new key art poster is on the thumbnail, and as also we tweeted it. Uh, we'll put it up on the, on the screen here, too. Now I know why I don't read comments for our channel. Yeah. Because <laughs> someone spoiled something for me, and I'm not going to say what it is, and I'm not going to say who it is. But yeah, you spoiled it. We get it. So no, it's all good. Um, one thing that is still confusing me, but it has bring my optimism up to about fifty percent. AMC has continuously marketed this show as a new series. They have not mentioned anything about it being a limited series. If you guys remember Walking Dead: World Beyond, they immediately said this is a two season limited. This is a this is a limited two season series. Yeah. That's it, limited limited. All their posters limited series. Now from the beginning of this, when it was announced, even Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrero said this is a limited series. We had one of the actresses who's a CRM soldier uh, post on her Twitter or Instagram saying that she's ready to go. She put in there limited six episodes. So there's just been this massive rumor. We've always been hearing this is a limited series, only six episodes potentially, but AMC has not marketed it that way. So now that kind of lifts my optimism like, okay, well, I don't want to be spoiled if there is going to be a season two. Put it in the final parts of the episode, you know, the finale. Yeah. Don't say it now. The ones who live will return. Yeah, the Rick, ones who Rick live will return. Michonne will return. Exactly. Do it then, but don't announce it yeah. if there is. But it is very interesting that they're marketing it as a new series when all along we've been told it's limited. Yeah. Either to six episodes or maybe a two season event kind of like World Beyond, but they they're not marketing it that way. Do you think they do it because they hope that they can get Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrera to negotiate do more contract it, you know contract negotiations? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, we know we know one of the main reasons Andrew Lincoln left is because they killed Carl. That's on the back. I, I, that's, that's on the back. I thought end. you were going the other way. I thought you were going because he wanted to spend more time with his family, and then I was going to stop you and say, yeah. eh. <laughs> you know, "It was to spend time with his family, and because they killed Carl." It was absolutely because uh, they killed Carl. <laughs> like, let's just be honest. Yeah. So, I mean, we understand Andrew Lincoln. He's mentioned before in interviews that you know it's it's t doing TV shows is tough. It's it's a very grueling schedule. Um, if if any of you know anyone who's done TV work, but. It's a very grueling schedule. It's not like movies where you go shoot a movie for six months and you're done. It's grueling. So we understand, you know, his whole family's in England. Denai Guerrero, she's gotten, of course, bigger doing Marvel and other things that she wants to do. So, yeah, I, I would guarantee that they're going to really look at this like, you know, we know it's going to be some, uh, we know it's going to be a success, guys. But then it will come down to what is Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrero's true vision of this? Do they only want to do six episodes and close it out? Or are they willing to leave the door open in a sense, you know, maybe during this whole process? Oh, yeah, we can probably push this out maybe a, a two-season thing. I think it depends a limited on how thing. successful it is going to be. And Yeah. Well, I mean, they've already like written said, this first season. So. Yeah, like you said, it's going to be very successful, I think. Oh, yeah. uh, it's it's Rick good. Grimes. And, and yeah. every single person that is a and Walking Michelle. Dead fan is looking forward to this story being completed yeah. and michonne i don't want to take away from michonne right. yeah now we've got we've gotten a couple of people in the comments like you guys are you guys are talking so much about rick and stuff like you're not mentioning michonne like well no, we absolutely. are we're just excited because rick's rick's the guy i mean it's rick it's, it, this is about rick <laughs> i i mean i don't you know yes it's there's a side story that's love story between yeah. michonne and him we and, love and michonne. that's great yeah don't get me wrong but being uh, fans of the source material this yeah. is about rick it's why we talk about rick yeah exactly so enough of this pre-talk bs crap let's get into this trailer let's do it let's go culling facility i like that music dude in the background copyright probably dude Wow, look at her face. Years ago. She's like, damn it. Looking for him. I have to go through this fucking wall of wall. Oh my god! Apocalyptic Philly. Dude. I have to keep trying. I won't stop. Oh. I'm getting there. I'm getting home. Oh man. You feel that. It's yeah. been so long. Your phone, you know what it says? The Japanese believe a little bit longer. Mm, yeah, oh my whoa. god! Did you see that? Why 
How do you even think I'm gonna go along with all of this? Because everything will change. Burn it all wow. again. Oh, that gas. Yeah. Ooh. The last light of the world. Oh, she is. You have to know that. Dude, this Janus is not the answer. Janus is all in. End. This is an everything. You go get to choose for the world. You don't get to choose for me. Yeah. Wow. This is all I have left. This is all you have left to. She's not gone. There has to be a sacrifice. It's a broken world. Show. Mm. Did you see that? Put together. Football mask. We couldn't do anything. But burn it all. Wow. Love the music. Nice. Wow. I loved I loved hearing Rick say, you do not get to decide for the world or myself. And that is true about yeah. the CRM's vision. They want to rule. The world. They think they know best. Oh, that's going to be so good. I love that line. Yeah. That was good. I love the music. That was really good. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to grab some of these photos and get back to you here in a minute. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back to break this amazing final trailer down of The Ones Who Live. We got some really cool information and some cool shots. Uh, left out a bunch of shots that we've seen before. Uh, most of this is all new. Yeah. So we start. With the culling facility, they are bringing. We've seen this in the world beyond. Yep. They're bringing in walkers to well, kill them to bring down the hordes. We've also seen this shot too. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit. A little bit. It's a different angle, but yeah. What's up on the on the writing there? Uh, clearance. Clearance. Yeah. Mm. Ten feet, maybe. Looks mm. like. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. fifteen feet, something like that. So a cool shot here again, Rick. Uh, you know going to be working on the culling facility That's interesting. quite a bit. I don't know if this is just a different angle, but like the shot that we've gotten, at least in the in the previous trailer of the culling facility, there were those murals in the background. Yeah, probably different pits, pit areas yeah. where they bring them in to do yeah. all the work. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at them. Yeah, you can yeah. see all the pits there, all the areas. That's, That's crazy. Very interesting, yeah. And then we see, you know, we've got multiple people. They bring them up to these walls with these little slits, and they just use those, that cool new weapon that the CRM has. You stick it in their face, you turn it, and it basically <laughs> just rips their head completely, <laughs> completely off. Okay, guys, uh, this is the first image that we see from a rumor <clears throat> that Rick Grimes is losing a hand. Now, you could say, well, is the jacket just too big and it's covering his hand? I don't think so. I think so. I don't know. Yeah, that's not... So guys, what wow. we're referencing and spoiler warning for anyone, the right hand. Spoiler warning for anyone who's read the comics. Rick Grimes loses his hand in the source material uh, during the during, uh, the governor actually cuts it off. So um and I think it's his right hand. It's the other hand. And, and the right hand in the source the right material, hand. Yeah. yeah. So th there's another shot here that makes me think he may be losing his hand in this for some reason. Uh, we'll I get, don't we'll think get that's it. definitive enough. Yeah. Um, and, and just my thoughts on this, guys, is it would uh, we quit with the hand shit. Like, hmm. if you if you sh if you were gonna do it, you should have done it back a long time ago. Yeah, my my in only my opinion. Yeah, my only opinion is that the reason if they're doing it is uh, there's a there's that shot where he's in the woods, you know, with the red lights and seems to be fighting walkers. There was an earlier shot there showing like something like possibly that he was handcuffed, maybe to a walker. So maybe during these fighting, he has to decide the only way to really get out is to cut his hand off, and he might do it just for that purpose. But we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Um, I know there's another shot in here we'll talk about, but I, I love this scene. Um, a massive horde, massive, massive horde with Michonne. Now, I love the next... Now, this shot's really cool. So it looks like she's actually firing. It looks like she almost has like a grenade launcher. She built some type of arrows, almost like Rambo style, <laughs> to shoot and explode because there's fires everywhere. And I love these next two clips. Just look at her face. She pulls yeah. the sword from her sheath. She's got this look on her face like, fuck, I got to get through this thing. Like she looks scared that she's like, I might die right here and now because I got to go through this massive horde. I wonder if this horde has anything to do with the chemicals that are being released in the in the mm. other shots, right? Because yeah. maybe she's trying to prevent this horde from going somewhere and killing a bunch of people. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, in World Beyond, right, we get references of hordes, what they call columns, and mm -hmm. they use those columns to attack and annihilate populations yes uh in world beyond it was the city of omaha who, yep. which was a strength of almost a hundred thousand hundred thousand right and, and and they use these huge columns of walkers i'm wondering if this is a 
and we talked about this before, like mm-hmm. a preparation uh, valley that they put these walkers right. in for that attack. Like a staging area yeah. or something. Yeah. She just has a look on her face like, I'm about to die. I could die right here and then and not make it to Rick at all. Very sad, but she's yeah. got to... I mean, look at her face. Well, she's, she's probably you know? and she's thinking tired. about Judith and RJ Oh, yeah, as well. exactly. Yeah, not just Rick, just everyone. Yeah, yeah so interesting. Um, had a close-up shot here. She's got the boot. She's got the boots. We love seeing it. Just had to throw this in because it was kind of part of the scene. Very cool. Very sad. Hear her again. You know, she's looking for someone, and she's, she's going to find him. And, you know, you can just see the pain and the joy, the pain in her eyes. It's like... You know, the pain of you know not being with Judith and Andre, the pain of missing him, the joy and excitement and potential optimism of and finding just, him. And we're going to cut everything. back and forth between her and him. Mm-hmm. And we're going to get the sadness of her looking for him. Yeah. And, and then the sadness of him trying to get up, get away. It's, it's going to be a really right. cool dynamic. Yeah. Apocalyptic really. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Very cool to get inside this city and see what the Civic Republic is all about. And uh, just everything that they're doing in this city, and, and and I would like to see even you know maybe the the, the government side of, of the Civic Republic to see if maybe they'll, we'll see something of well we them don't know clashing. if they're in Philly we don't know well the Civic Republic we is know the, the military is in the Philly. governed piece of the yes. whole thing but you're correct we don't know if Philadelphia is strictly the military civilization or if there are mixes of the Civic Republic in it but the Civic Republic reign supreme is you know governs more over it yeah we'll have to see uh very cool very reminiscent of rick uh when he was walking through the woods i think in like on the road like season four maybe and he saw the helicopter so well this very well could be a scene where we get because we see rick dressed up as a crm soldier Mm. in line in ranks yep and i wonder if this is a scene where rick realizes i'm never going to escape being in the culling facility Mm -hmm. i'm not going to escape until i am at a higher position yeah and this is maybe when he sees okay if i can get into the military if i can get into the ranks maybe i can get my hands on a helicopter or when they're out of the walls doing some type of mission then he can make his escape but I, i think he may realize here Oh, yeah. I'm not going to have any chance until I can get my hands on a helicopter. Yeah, That's sure. my only way of getting out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So right there, that's a very damn good look, okay? There's no hand there. There's a white piece of, like, you know, covering up the stub. But look at it, dude. Yeah. The, the end of his arm is right there. There's no left hand. It's gone just pisses me off. And it pisses me off that they show this in the trailer because they've shown this shot a couple times, but what they've done is that they've kind of zoomed in to kind of hide this left hand or maybe the camera was a little bit lowered where it couldn't show it. That is pretty definitive right there, guys. There's no... He is not holding the end of that weapon with a hand. There is a stub right there underneath his underneath his coat. It's, Unless he's it's got a it stub. maybe... I, I don't know. We curled up, we but could, I, I don't think so. He, I don't he, think you can do that. Well, here's the thing: we could say his aunt, his hand may be injured. Maybe it's in a full cast, and of course, you know, this would make sense. It's not going to be showing his fingers because it's in a cast. But I, I don't know what they're doing. This, this rumor has been going around for quite some time, and we'll have to wait and see. I think the only logical reason for him to have his hand removed would either be a punish, a very brutal punishment, either by General Beal or Jadis for trying to escape, or during those fight scenes where they they seem to be Is playing he a game with that hand though no or to like you know as they're playing some game killing these walkers he had to cut his hand off to actually get away and Does survive he get bit in the hand he could do that too maybe he gets bit by fighting walkers and they're she like well let's cut it. it off you yeah know? yeah well we'll have to see man <laughs> god i hate that <laughs> but that, that shot I right there was, that. seems pretty definitive there's no hand not only do they say hey let's do this 12 years later Right. <laughs> but let's do it on the wrong hand. Yeah. Well, they probably wanted to be like, well, I know you're probably right handed. Let's for the face for the for the show, which one would you want to lose? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Cause see look, yeah, I mean there's just nothing. So we'll have to wait and see. It's sad, but we'll see. It's stupid. Yeah. Uh, anyway, lo- love the shot right here. Um uh, we we kind of heard some stuff, you know, him talking over the foreground. We don't know where those lines come from within the series, but just this look on his face, you could tell he's probably thinking of Michonne. He's probably thinking of Judith. Um, he doesn't know about RJ, but he's just thinking like, I got to get home. And yeah. that's kind of the message that he was saying multiple times in here is like, I, I got to, I'm getting home. I'm getting home. 
And it, it sucks because, guys, he's been there almost 10 years. Yeah. 10 years. Yeah, and look, <laughs> <clears throat> he knows what he built back home. Yeah. He knows what he fought for back home. He knows the family that he has back home. So, I mean, it's... Well, the fear of not knowing of what's going on. Exactly. He has no idea. Exactly. You know? I mean, they live in a world now where there are Negans out there everywhere. Mm-hmm. And and he... he I, man, I can't imagine. Right? Like, I it's know. just... Ugh. God. That's why I can't wait to see more with Jude... Or not more with Jude, Jadis. Yeah. So, um... Here's a shot of here, uh, Michonne and some people that she's with. We've seen a couple of these shots before. Um, look at that. that. Look at that, mm. dude. So that's Philly right there. That's across the river. That's a new, new facility. Jersey. It's very close together. That's either but, a new facility or one that just wasn't, that was gated off well. Mm. Because you just see the ruins of the city, and here's this brand new facility. Yeah, look at all these brand new buildings that, that, that they've kept up. looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've built this up, guys. It's been, yeah. you know, now 12 plus I mean, years. And you can in the see apocalypse. the gates around. Yeah. You can see the gates around it as well. Yeah. I mean,. The big gates over here. Uh huh. Oh, look, look at the walls. Those yeah. are concrete walls. Walls, there, bro. and then the the fences uh-huh. everywhere else. My God, that's crazy. And just look at all the look at that. No color, nothing. Just black vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> look at all the helicopters, bro. There too. Dude, they got satellite dishes. Now they're probably using these turbines for electricity. Oh yeah, these absolutely. Are elect- these and are, we get yeah. another shot of them actually in the city, and you can even see them in the background in the city. They plopped oh, yeah. a couple in uh-huh. there. We saw they did that. Um, they were showing they had wind turbines in uh, yeah. Omaha too, when the shots of Omaha. So yeah, definitely for 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 power. So just had to show this shot again, just because I am really liking this these new face helmets now. At first, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of like Snake Eyes and like GI Joe, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks really good. It looks really good. Okay, so I showed this shot again just because I wanted to point out something that we missed. That is Rick Grimes, I believe. That looks exactly like him. And next to him is the girl that we've seen in a couple shots. So this seems, and that's General Beale, this seems to be the elite group of his soldiers. And that definitely is, is Grimes right there. Yeah, and so, yeah, I mean, obviously we missed it crazy that we missed it but uh, you know these seem like to me maybe these are the new recruits that don't have the helmets on mm, right and they're yeah. accepting them in uh, like i said i think this is the moment where rick is i have to get into this this mm-hmm. is the only way that i can get out is by getting a helicopter yeah and a cool shot here yes sir general Beale. stay tuned we got another video talking about the actor <laughs> gives some insight on the character so very cool kind of another shot here of uh, Rick being able to cross the river, look across, and uh, talking with Beal. So this is at that facility, mm-hmm. uh, that well, new facility. Yep. Yeah. So we kind of see a shot here again. You know, him asking him, "Do you want to live or die or whatever?" And Rick's like, "What do you think?" The question is: Is this a flashback scene of when he first arrives, or is this? You yeah, know, you mentioned few that a bef- few years in. You right? mentioned that before. I say not really. Well, it could be a flashback at a different time. The reason I said no is because his hair is longer, but it could be maybe a couple years in. Yeah. You know, so you could be correct. It could be a flashback, just not thinking like an immediate because it's, it's going to take time for his hair to grow out from the last time we saw or him. Or is this but, when he's being recruited into the special military? Could be. Yeah, yeah maybe. So a shot here. It looks like potentially they're having a little funeral arrangement because there is a casket here with a crm logo on it he's got a ceremonial sword so he's probably going to give some epic speech about who the fuck did this you know i'm almost wondering if like the the scenes that we see of rick in the forest with the walkers Mm. is kind of related to this in a way that maybe someone else died in that event Mm. and the reason why half of the people survived is because of the events and and things that rick did maybe and that is why he's able to join maybe you know gain trust giving a shot Mm -hmm. yeah so there's the girl that we've seen we saw a different shot you know where she's like you know this is all i've known this is all you've known so apparently it seems like she's been here for, for a long time. Yeah. And this is all she's known. So I can't wait to find out more on this character. I think she's going to have a pretty... Um, I think she's going to have a pivotal role. Um, I, I, I kinda, I'm kind of giving getting a feeling that she's going to assist Rick in helping to get out. Maybe she can get out as well. 
Uh, maybe she doesn't stand by the ideals of the CRM any longer, and she just wants to get out as well. Yeah. So, so uh, up close shot, <laughs> General Beal. What's up, sir? Um, this is very interesting. This is way out in the outskirts, uh, farmland. Um, you see three people here. Um, but oh, actually, this could be Michonne. Look at that. There's a caravan. This could be Michonne's people. This could be the people that she uh, met up with when yeah. we last saw her, and they're coming to this area. Maybe. Well, and see the see the uh, uh, if you zoom in where you had your mouse uh, down. See where that truck is, and then you have those columns. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It feels like that's the shot where Michonne's coming out, and that person behind her is following her. Happens right there in the front. Oh, maybe. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Or off to the side over here. Mm -hmm. but, so yeah. maybe they're going to an area that's you know making food and things like that. So yeah, it's definitely a caravan. Pretty cool. So here we go. Uh, yeah, look like look at that. They got the um, panels uh, panels up here. Solar panels. Solar panels. There we go. And this is the shot that we've seen uh, where they are gonna looks like CRM is attacking this place and releasing the gas. So uh, God, I wonder where that's that at. Yeah. So here's a closer shot here. Got the the turbines, and that's uh, Philly. So very very cool. Jadis, Jadis. and she says the line for that we've heard not just from Jadis and World Beyond, but from actually uh, uh, Lieutenant Kublik, who says CRM is the last light of the world. That is kind of their theme. They feel that they are the ones to turn things around in this new age. So we knew Jadis was going to be all in. Like, know, she wasn't going to go backwards, dude. But I, I cannot wait to see the interactions between Rick and Jadis yeah. and maybe Jadis getting pissed at him. Like, why aren't you doing what you're supposed to be doing? You're yeah, getting, I mean, she's, me in trouble. she's so all in that she's not going to understand why someone doesn't want to be exactly in this group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So another shot here. Uh, homeboy, dude. Flying the helicopter, can't wait to find out more on him, if maybe he'll take a turn to help Rick, or if he's all in as well. Like, he'll be, uh, you know, an antagonist and, yeah. and stay on Bill's side. This this was a weird shot. This, like, reminded, this made me think, like, this was, like, an interview. Because <laughs> look how, like, bright and clear it is. I was like, is this an interview yeah. shot? Like, But, yeah, it's Michelle saying that, I um, can't remember the line that she said here, but it's just uh, giving... Giving influence of what we got to do, what we got to yeah. do. So, uh, we saw a, cer a similar shot of her walking down this corridor with the light, but this is a different one where look who's creeping up behind her. Walkers. Ninja walkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rick getting pissed off and again using only his right hand to turn that table and throw it. Now, you could say, well, maybe you only need one hand to do it. Correct. But again, I feel I it's, he's doing that because he can't use both hands yeah, because mean, he doesn't have his left after one. After seeing that <laughs> photo, dude, like it's pretty definitive to me. Yeah, but he's pissed. Like something has happened. Like, and you kind of get the lines where you hear, "You don't get to decide for the world. Yeah. You don't get to decide for me." So I think it's still Rick is still being pushed down. He's you know he's been held there for ten years. It's starting to get to him. He wants to go. So. Just sucks, dude. The yeah. dude had to pull rebar out of the side of his stomach, mm -hmm. and he gets a hand cut off. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Major General Beale taking in some action, killing some walkers with that cool new weapon. Just sticks it in, twists it, and bleh, gone. So yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be really good on this Beale. Cool, another inside shot of the city. Turbines, the brick, the brick walls you know, always makes me think of either Hilltop or um, Commonwealth now, yeah. especially the red brick. Cool shot here. This definitely reminds me of like the Commonwealth in the background, but uh, looks like Rick is somewhere in the small part of the city, always wearing his killing facility coat. So this is a lady here. She's in her full CRM getup. I wonder if, I wonder if Rick is too. And, you know, she's kind of mentioning this is all I've known. This is all you've known. So. I think they're going to have cool little side conversations. Are they plotting here? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe he's plotting. So you want you want in on, you want in on this? <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. We've seen this many times. You can see Rick here. There's other Two hands. there's other pe yes, his hand is there. There's other people Oh, I think what they're doing is they're handcuffing other people together. So probably his partner who he's handcuffed to was probably bitten killed by a walker. He can't get out. Now you could say, well, you can cut that other person's hand off. He could, but maybe something else happens, 
and he has to cut it off. We'll find out, bro. <laughs> So I just had to show this. Or is this here. maybe like the initiation? Like you get through this, you can be a part of maybe. the the group. It could be. Yeah, you might. I'm be right. thinking that's the case. Maybe. Like you have to prove to us that that you can do this. Mm-hmm. So this is interesting. Yeah. So we've seen this yellow truck before. We've seen Michonne going to this truck and sleeping in this truck and getting attacked by walkers. I'm wondering if this is her and Jadis. This is her and Jadis. You can see Jadis coming after her. Sw- swipes at her now look now look at these are these bloaters look at these walkers <laughs> now what i think this kind of looks like this looks like maybe xcrm soldiers they have their helmets on still yeah. like the older helmets that we've seen or the, the helicopter helmets that we've seen but they look kind of bloaty <laughs> look like bloaters very cool and they crash so this is that scene again where they're like these walkers have like fire just on like parts of them it's really strange it's cool though it's, yeah, it's really strange. We've seen Rick killing some of these. So, yeah, maybe because of these firewalkers, he, going back to his hand, maybe his hand gets severely burned or something because of because he's fighting. He's trying to hold it up, and it yeah. goes in and gets severely burned. And they got to amputate. We'll find, see? Look, his hand. There's his hand. He's got it in that shot. Now, we've seen that shot before. There's a there's kind of like, not a string, but um, he's handcuffed. So it's probably chains on it. So we he has it here. Yeah. So I think I think he loses it from this event. In this event. I think he does. Yeah. For some reason, yeah. We'll find out. See? That's See? awesome, dude. She's fucking firing projectiles in here, bro. That's a good way to turn their attention cuz look, a lot Turns of them are, are a yeah. lot of them are already it, going it, that and way. And now this is the scene where we I believe we we know she gets her walkers, her pet walkers. Her pet walkers yeah. too. Yep, for sure. Very cool though. And just showing this shot because it looks like this is going to be Michonne's kill because Hello Walker and a beautiful slice by Blade. <laughs> <laughs> God. Very cool. Had to show that. And then a uh, close up shot here of Michonne. Very determined, very ready. The end shot here, kind of at that event yeah. as well. We've seen that shot before. And the new title screen with the fire, the ones who live. And then again, still marketing it as a new series. <laughs> we are close. That's it, guys. We are close. We are so close. We cannot wait. This this series, it's going to be good. Like, their budget was really good. I think that, oh, I just hope that they, the writers have ri- really written this. I know I know, Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrero have had input on the story as well. So I, I think they're right. I think the way that they're going to have this written is just going to, it's for them. And it's going to be good. Yeah, it'll be interesting. We see new series and what you mentioned before about, you know, it's not being called limited. It makes me think if it is a continued series, we won't get all of the answers that we want, you know, in the first season, right? Yeah. Because they need yeah. to stretch that out. So, right. uh, you know, what I'm not seeing in this trailer are any pictures of Alexandria, any reference of, you know, making yeah. it home. No, they won't do that. Makes me think that this indeed is a continued series. Yeah, they won't do that because yeah. that would spoil it. But well, no, but you know. But yeah, I mean, it was kind of like what I. There's what no I, hinting of it either. No, I mean, the only hint that I had was from the previous trailer where it showed Michonne standing in front of a hel. You could tell she's in front of a helicopter, and you see the you see the look on her face of. But I think that's at that absolute glee. I think that's Be- at that building before he gets thrown into the building i think he's in a helicopter rick is in a helicopter she's yeah. looking up at him it's the one that goes into the happy building. as yeah. shit and yeah. then he loses control of it yeah he gets captured again or something yeah because that's kind of the only reference i got to like she's either looking at him or hearing his voice over a helicopter intercom because she looks she looks elated she looks yeah. so happy like i found him that's him and i'm looking up at him right now so yeah, yeah. guys, the scream of terror, scream of terror, because the helicopter goes into a building and then another helicopter. Shoots yes. It. Yeah. So guys, yeah, this is going to be so good. You know, we've been, I, I'm really glad that AMC changed things to where we didn't have to wait for movies to be done. Cause a, a movie trilogy would have been so long and it already took over two years to even get any news of what they were doing. So, yeah. A lot of fans, you know, including us, we were like, why don't you just make this an exclusive AMC freaking show? Make an I, AMC movie out of it. I think they you realized know? that a movie wouldn't have worked. No. Uh, too big I, a scale. Too too big a scale. Um, and too there's long. There's too much story there that, that 
would not have been able to be told to a new viewer. And that's mm. that's the thing, right? Yeah. It's not it's not just the 8 million plus fans, right? Mm-hmm. You got to get more than that. You got to get new viewers. If you're going to do a movie. Yeah. And yeah. I just don't think it would have worked. I don't know. I'm not an expert. But. Well, plus with the movie industry now, I mean, you know, I just heard that that new Roadhouse remake is not even going to theaters. It's going straight to like Amazon. Well, it's Roadhouse. Well, it's it's a remake too. It's Roadhouse. Got, I know. I know. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. And, <laughs> no, it, I wanted to see Conor McGregor kick yeah. his ass, but you but know still, nothing. You know nothing. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just the movie industry now. I mean, it's like, could this movie have survived a trilogy? In the movie industry, I no. I don't think so. It wouldn't have made its money back probably, but having it more exclusive to AMC Network, to where you are going to get your viewers, you have a set budget of what you want to do, you're going to make your money back easily and make profit off of it. But you're going to have better viewership because of where it stands. With movies, it's like, you know, we would have gone to them, but it just would have been so long in between those movies. You know, like we have to wait six plus years to get this story ended because a movie takes time to shoot editing it getting it ready and then you know what i'm saying unless you're gonna do it like lord of the rings and shoot it all at once okay I mean, well I, and i just think that you know having it as show um yeah possibly brings back the ability for them to create other material off of it yeah you definitely so. could yeah for sure so guys let us know your thoughts on this trailer and our breakdown we are super excited cannot wait uh i think our biggest question right now is to figure out yes will he or won't he have a left hand it looks pretty definitive he's losing it but now we need to know the circumstances as to why but uh we kind of have a general idea of how it may happen but cannot wait for this stay tuned for our reactions and videos on this uh make sure if you are new subscribe smash the like button and we will see you in the next one i'm jarell i'm josh we're knock nation we're out, out.